and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very interesting few weeks, that's, you know, yeah. But I'm still here. And I have a new video to bring you guys. I should have actually uploaded this in June. But today we're going to be fixing up some Barats dolls. So if you're interested in this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, hello, um, welcome. Mm. Let's get this video started. Roll the intro. <laughs> Okay guys, so as many of you may or may not know, I do collect brats and I have a very small collection, but I did add these four new dolls to it. One being this birthday kind of Sasha doll. Um, I don't remember the exact name, but I got her at Savers and she's, you know, naked. Her hair is very gnarly and it will, you know, we'll see what happens to it. You'll see. The next doll is Flower Girl's Chloe and I really do love this line, but just like Sasha, her hair is very, very questionable. But yeah, she has her full outfit. She has a little rip in her jeans but you know I probably won't fix it so whatever the next doll is a 2005 holiday Katya she's not in too bad of condition but her hair does need a brush and her outfit does need a wash because she smells like a sharpie and our last doll is actually one of my grails it is a flashback fever Fiona this queen seen better days but I will be curling her hair and she isn't complete but I do have three of her items so that's all that matters right and that is our cast for today's video, guys. So let me get into our materials. A toothbrush so we can clean th their bodies and faces. Lord knows they need it. Gonna need a comb for the styling phases. Don't mind my dirty comb. This is a detangling brush. This is going to, you know, obviously detangle their, you know, hair. Yeah. And the rest of the materials are in the bathroom. So I will see you there. Welcome to my bathroom. So our first step is to completely undress the dolls. We can't wash them with their clothes on. Come on now. Okay guys, our dolls are naked and now we are going to clean them. Guess this is a doll nudity warning too. And to clean the doll's hair and body, I use dish soap. It doesn't really matter what brand you use, um, you know, just use what you got, you know? And after you're done with that, you're gonna need some conditioner. I use this Suave, it's just a cheap conditioner I have. So yeah, let's get these girls cleaned, right? So to start, I need to cut out any rubber bands in their hair, and only Sasha and Chloe have them. Chloe's was easy to cut out, but when I got to Sasha, I noticed that her hair was almost glued into place, along with the rubber bands rotting, so I had to take it off camera to take it down. It was just, you know, uh, it was a mess. So to start the washing process, I just rinse out the hair and body with some warm water just to get it all wet and saturated. And then it is time for our dish soap and our toothbrush, and we're just going to go ham at cleaning their bodies and their hair with it. So as I mentioned, I filmed this in June. Now, these are the last Bratz dolls I bought. I've kind of gotten out of collecting them because of how expensive they become. So um, if I buy Bratz again, um, it's probably because I found them at Savers or something. But other than that, these are probably going to be my last. After I clean them down, I just turn my water back on and I just rinse them all out. It's pretty much easy, not gonna lie. You might need to wash their hair again just in case it's really dirty, but with these girls, I didn't have to wash any of their hair twice. Now that they're all clean, it's time to add some moisture back into the hair conditioner, and I just put a generous amount in their hair, and then I just brush it through. Now, if you're watching this video and say you've never dealt with doll hair, um, pretty much just try to start with the bottom and then work your way up. You don't want to yank out any plugs if it's unnecessary, because then you're going to have a Cynthia looking doll, and you know, you don't want your Bratz doll to look like that, come on. But depending on the hair type and the condition your doll is in, the hair could really be easily brushed out or it could easily take you a good few minutes. And some of these dolls, when I do restore them, they take a good few minutes to brush out. It's all about how you cared for your dolls. But yeah, patience is key. And yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now that they've gotten their brush out, it's time to rinse out that conditioner. And then we're going to move on to boiling their hair. Yeah, it sounds scary and it probably is to a doll. So basically, guys, um, I've been absent a little bit this week. Um, not really, but a little bit. But um, I got the you know what, and I'm just still recovering. But I'm doing pretty good, as you guys can tell in my voice a little bit. So hopefully everything goes up from here. But yeah, being in isolation is like, ugh, I hated it. And I just wanted to film YouTube videos. So I'm glad to be doing that yet again. So yeah.
So at this point, I was turning on my steamer to boil some water, and then I realized that Sasha's hair is just very thinly rooted because it's supposed to be in a high ponytail. I just didn't want to deal with it, so she's not going to be getting a makeover. <laughs> so now that your water is boiling, all you're going to do is dunk the doll's hair into the water. You could keep it in there for like 15 seconds and just swish it around. And after that, you just need to brush it out, and it's up to you of how many times you're going to dunk the doll's hair. I typically do it a few times and I will usually re-boil water if it's needed. But if you feel like you're enjoying your doll's hair after the brush outs, um, cool. So when it comes to brushing, I try to brush away from the part so I don't lose it. Um, dolls parts are, you know, easily to be lost, especially um, Bratz dolls and any other MGA dolls. But if you are very patient, you should really easily brush out their hair and it should look really, really nice, like after just a few dunks. I want to know down in the comments, did you collect Bratz as a kid or are you interested in them now that they're turning 20? I just want to know where your Bratz story is. So currently they're all brushed out and our next step is going to be a fabric softener dunk. Now I did let their hair dry overnight to let you see what it looks like before that and it's really nice still but I want it to be a little more silkier. So we're just going to boil some more water and then we're going to add our little fabric softener to a bowl or a cup. And then you're just going to dunk the doll's hair in and you're going to brush it again. And then after you're done with the fabric softener dunk you need to rinse it out. Drowning queen. So as I mentioned earlier, all the outfits do need to be cleaned, especially this dress. Um, I'm just going to be filling up my sink with some water and then I'm also going to be adding some detergent and I'm also going to add in that fabric softener again just so it smells nice. Your dolls deserve nice clothes too, so yeah. And after you've washed them all out and rinsed them, it's time to put them away. I put them in my garage and they dried real fast. And after your dolls are done soaking, it's time to rinse them out. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using some warm water and it's until I feel like the hair doesn't have a residue anymore and it's all good. I am ready for my wig. So for Fiona, she had really cool curly hair and I did not want to remove that out of her hair even though I had to. So I did put in some curling rods in her hair and I'm just going to set those with more boiling water as you may have guessed. Just like boiling water smooths hair, it also could put a curl back into it. If you guys want more tutorials, I'm going to link my tutorial playlist down below. And because it's 916 apparently to this clip, I had to microwave the water in the microwave. I really wanted to try boiling it over the stove for once, but of course, I don't know how to work in oven so yeah i'd be a bad house husband once the water started bubbling it is time to insert fiona's head back into the boiling water and i just let it in there for probably a minute now some of these rods did pop and after they were all submerged in the hot water i did put her in the refrigerator because why not she was accompanied by some taquitos and some chicken, I guess. Um, yeah, she's going to enjoy her little spa treatment. Don't worry, guys. And I only left her in there for like 15 minutes anyways. So yeah, a few hours after that clip, her hair was fully dried. So it was time to take down all the rollers in her head. And this is the fun part, but it's also scary because it's like make or break. So you might have to do it again. But pretty much I just took down each roller and I was really you know, pleased with how her hair turned out. I think it turned out super good, especially for her because she didn't really have a lot of hair, surprisingly. And it wasn't because of her past owner. It's just how she was rooted, which I found kind of weird, but maybe they did it because she was supposed to have like really big curly hair. So they like used that as an excuse to not root her. I don't know. It was chosen for her. But after that, oh my God, look at that hair. Look at those little curls. They're so bouncy and ugh, she's such a queen. Okay guys, and they are all done. So I'm gonna show you them one by one and then we're just gonna close this video out. Yeah, yeah. So Katya was probably the easiest one to fix because she has straight hair. I think she turned out really, really nice and her outfit does not smell like Sharpie anymore. One thing I could not fix was her little laces. Um, I don't remember how they went back on. So she's just, you know, dragging her laces behind her. We stand that for her. As for the flower girls, Chloe, I tried to get these stains off her arm with the acne treatment method and all that but they did not want to get off her for some reason so she's got little tattoos now <laughs> but her hair was kind of strange like it feels kind of fried for some reason and it felt like that way before I even boil washed her hair so I don't know what's going on with her hair but it's as good as it's gonna get still has her flower intact and all that 
And yes, her jeans are still not fixed. <laughs> this Chloe is really, really pretty though. And I'm happy that she's all fixed up though. And of course, here is flashback fever Fiona. Her curls are still staying up, even though they've been in there for probably two months now. They're just super duper pretty and I can't wait to find her top and maybe her hat one day but at the moment she's only got her pants and her shoes. I kind of misplaced her shirt so she's you know topless right now but you know it's a vibe. The girls are all ready but they need one more thing and that is Pink Friday. I always spray my dolls with Pink Friday. It's just you know iconic so let's just do a little a little one too. Okay guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. If you guys are excited for the new breath coming out this year, let me know down in the comment section below. If you wanna follow me on other social medias, my at handle is at zombieXcorn. So that's for Instagram, TikTok, anything else, pretty much. I, I pretty much own the username, so like whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is probably gonna be either Thursday or Friday. I'm gonna get some videos out this week because I feel like I should have posted some even last week, but you know, I was sick, so that's my excuse. But okay guys, I will see you in the next video. So bye.